But yeah, so let's just get back into the skateboard yeah. this shit, babe. <laughs> so when do you like start like meeting people in Corpus that are a part of like the skateboarding scene? And mm-hmm. who's maybe like the first significant pe- person that you meet within like the Corpus scene? Okay, uh, probably like in 2000, 2001, like the early 2000s, I started to come to the uh, T-Heads. The T-Heads was a main spot for like all the badass skaters in the city. You know what I'm saying? The before T-head, the skate park. Yeah, before the skate park was a T-Head red circle, bro. It was a, it was a circle. I mean, the, the, the red circle had like a stage on it or something, but then it had like another stage on the sign. On the side with where they sold snow cones, oh, really? had events and shit like that. There's a lady out there DJing or whatever. And, uh, man, I actually, um, I didn't know all the dudes' names, but I knew who they were. Well, ended up happening, my dad got a job with the with the dude who his son skateboarded. And he's like, hey, my son skates too, bro. He's like, you want to meet him? I think it's 2002 or 2000. I don't remember, 2001. Justin Merrill, bro. Justin Merrill. He was a badass skater back then, a white dude. His dad owned a glass company here, and he, they still own it, I believe. It's Weber, oh, really? glass contractors. Uh, he would pick me up, bro, and he would take me with all his homies. And to me, those were the OGs. And to this day, I'm still friends with all them dudes from back then, bro. Damn, that's yeah. what's we may not talk every day, but, you know, with social media and shit, you... you still homeboy, yeah, bro. still, dude. And they... Still friends and shit. They show... It was uh, Justin Merrill, uh, Skater Ed. Skater Ed was known for, like, having this big badass ramp in his backyard bro half pipe all badass and they would do basically like the stuff that you see me doing like with the ramps and all that yeah. i got that shit from them bro oh, i got really? all that shit that i do i got it from them they did the exact same thing to them i mean back then what, yeah. what i'm doing now you know what i mean oh, really? and uh, the youth man That's what yeah doing, lex yeah. lex and abel they're uh they living up up in austin right now man they're they're brothers they're the ones on y'all always see when i go up to austin i'm with one of them or both of them you know what i'm saying and uh, I think there's another dude named Juan. But, yeah, definitely that dude, Justin Merrill, bro. He, he introduced me to all of them. And uh, he would, they would take me places. You know, back then there was, like, skate parks open here, bro. But the city would shut them down. Shut them down. They, he, they were, like, private skate yeah, parks. Yeah, they were, like, private were, like, parks. Like, yeah, park, like Justin, park. Mer- Justin Merrill kind of. So where were these parks at? Like, can you remember? Uh, you remember Victoria it? had one, like, in an old hangar. Like in a uh, helicopter hangar. So these weren't really like official skate parks. These were just some shit that the homies. No, had no, basically. they were they were they were legit parks, bro. But they weren't sanctioned through the city. That's what I mean. They, why do you say they, they were getting shut down then? And, well, and because were, the I don't understand the city would let them and then take it away. Is what I'm saying. I don't know if it was the paperwork that wasn't right or what, but every park that would, was getting built back then would eventually just go away with. You know what I mean? I don't know what the whole deal was, but yeah, so. Like I said, we had one here in front of Del Mar. It was called uh, Millennium Skate Park. Yeah, I wanted you to talk about yeah. that one. A little Millennium, bit, yeah. the Ray, the guy was named Ray, uh, Ray Longori, I believe, or Ray something, bro. Uh, cool that ass like dude, of, bro. That was like one of the earliest. Yeah, early first, life. first, probably one of the official. Like it, it was open for a minute, you know what I mean? Till, till something happened, he had to get shut down. But man, he had everything like. That you see on TV, you know what I mean? Like everything, bro. He would we would go so much that he would just let let us skate there just free. And he had a skate shop and a skate, skate park. Shops, in one? Yeah, skate shop showing skate videos. He sold product. He had pictures of like him going to California and shit like that. That's dope. And then uh you would just go to the back and then he would have like punk bands playing and you're able to skate there, big old half pipe, a bowl, mini ram, just some street stuff, bro. It was badass for a kid, like Damn. growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was Two dollars to go in. I mean, <laughs> that's why it was like basically free. You know what I mean? You could stay there all fucking day and night. You know what I mean? He he was cool. He was real cool, man. Hey, remember the public pools, man? You get in for like fifty cents or some shit. Hell like yeah. Back in the day? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, twenty five <laughs> cents and shit. Yep. Like that. Take a quarter or something. Like yeah, yeah. 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 Not a time was like seventy five cents some shit like that. But Hell yeah. yeah, these dudes. So so me being the young guy, you know what I'm saying? I would go with them everywhere, bro. Uh, Justin Merrill would take me with them like to all those parks. And there would be, like, uh, pro skaters would do tours. They would come over here to, like, Aranda's yeah. Pass Skate Park. Oh, shit. And they would give away product. And these dudes that I was with, they would get all the shit, dog. And they would just, like, fucking give it to me. Damn. They would, so. they would take all of their shit from They will get any shit. Here, bro, here. Give me boards, wheels, trucks, whatever I needed. They did that shit all the time, bro, all the time. Yeah, and it's so. so crazy that, like, I linked up back up with them. And, like, now when I go to Austin, we're fucking chilling all the time, yeah. bro. And I'm, I tell them, man, I appreciate what y'all did because I'm still fucking doing it and showing the kids. 
Like you, what they yeah, what, what happened yeah, to me? Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm doing yeah. it. I'm just doing. Passing it's like, down. Yeah, Hell just doing yeah. the same thing. The same thing. Hell yeah, it's crazy. Man, we're gonna get back into the skateboarding in a minute. But when did you start getting into like the music concerts and the festivals and all that shit? Um, I know you're like one of the few people in the yeah. I see that's down there at every fucking major music festival that fucking happens. How did you get into that? I've always like been a fan of like a lot of music. So. Like I said, in the country growing growing up, it was country music. Going to all the shows here, you know what I'm saying? And then slowly just went over to hip-hop, and I was just like, dude, I love hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And then when I got with my girl, she was uh, had previously lived in Austin for like six, seven years. And when we just started talking, got to know each other, and she was like, hey, I do this, I do that, I do this. And I was like, what? You do all these festivals? So she <laughs> kind of like, she like, you know what I'm saying, like brought me in and showed me like about all this shit that really goes on like in the real world not just here you know what i mean yeah, so nah, real shit. i was down for it and i was like dude i learned everything through her you know what i'm saying and she showed me and i was like it was south by southwest coachella you know what i'm saying like uh euphoria all these big festivals that are like popping bro and it's yeah, like it's not nah. for everybody but if you love music and like and not just i'm not just saying hip-hop but if you love music in like uh, you can like a lot of different music it's fun, you know what I'm saying? There's there's a bunch of different styles of music that you can go to, not just one. And because these concerts have more than just one genre, is what I'm what I'm saying. Yeah. She puts you on the local music too, right? Yeah, on the local scene yeah. too. Yeah, because yeah. she because she was friends with a lot of the guys from from Corpus, you know, from Sushi Bar. She hung out at Sushi Bar a lot. Oh, really? So she hung out with all the public zoo guys and all them. So shout out. Yeah, we will. We went to ended up going. I think it was to Bone Thugs here or something, and then I met a. Joe Brock and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But oh, shit. Yeah. Joey B. What but. was y'all listening back over there in Bishop and, and, and uh Driscoll growing up and shit? Like what was y'all listening to as far as like music wise and shit? Country. He's yeah, country. straight up straight up, yeah. Don't like no like no Lil Wayne or no shit like nah, that. No, I mean yeah, there was Lil Wayne, Birdman, fifty Cent, uh who else? All the mainstream. Like the shit yeah, you yeah. heard on Z ninety. Like the radio, yeah, radio yeah. music. So, you know what so I'm saying? If y'all wanted to actually in these days buy a C D or some shit, Corpus. you have to come to the yeah. damn. Disco round or or the one that was in the mall that sold CDs of FYE. FYE. Yeah. 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 Sam and Duke. then they'd have all the sections, you gotta go buy CDs there or tapes, or whatever it was, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. God damn. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, I think Eminem when they, when they had their thing. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. weren't like there was nobody, like, you had to want to listen to that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to be like, hey, you want to hear this? Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you had to want to listen to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to drive the corpus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. My cousins, dog, they would clown me all the time. Man, you ain't in the country no more, cuz. You're in the city. This yeah, is the cause city. Because you you I was like, country. You know, yeah. Damn. You're in the city, cuz. You, you ain't in the country no more. Oh, Get that <laughs> shit out of you. That shit out of you. You're in the city now. So, like, yeah, it was, it was, it was different. He's like, I don't know if I should be doing this, man. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. I'm going to do it. But I'm doing it. <laughs> I got introduced to street it. football. You know what I'm saying? Over here, like, dude, playing in the fucking Molina in the street. He's all barefooted. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Shit. Good old days when rocks yeah. didn't hurt for some reason. Yeah. yeah. When, yeah. when and how do you start building connections Step with, the like, now. the fucking skateboarding dudes, like, from, like, California and all that <laughs> shit? Okay, well, like, I've all, I've always followed, like, the popular skaters that, when I grew up, that are kind of OGs now, so, I, we, we took a trip over there, and I really did, I, I wanted to scope it out, you know what I'm saying, I scoped it out, whatever, then, I ended up going to this famous spot called Jaquan, that's where all, it's Jaquan Sundays, it's in Koreatown, uh, downtown Los Angeles, it's a famous spot, it's been famous for a lot of years, and if, People skate there. Yeah, people skate there, it's but skating it's spot? a famous skating spot. Oh, it's a it's called Radio Korea, um, but you can only skate there for certain hours because they will call the cops, and your ass will get thrown out of there. You know what I mean? So it's from like you have to be there eight in the morning, seven in the morning, so about like one ish. On. You know what I mean? One, one if in that. The no, one in the afternoon, like oh, if that. Shit. But if you're like trying to get noticed and you're good, you know what I'm saying? You want to get seen, you got to be consistent on going to that spot because they're all there, bro. Filmers, skaters, pros, whatever. They're Bloggers, all, all Yeah, they're yeah. all there's people That's doing the photography, right there. there's yeah. people doing yeah. filming. They're at that spot because they know that the top dogs there's show up. There's some potential up. talent there. Yeah. 
and not just not just that spot but that spot on sundays yeah on sundays dude it's a so when when i went i ended up meeting this uh when you you meet a lot of skate uh pro skater just skating anywhere but that particular spot um one of the team managers from dgk he runs the the dgk skateboarding yeah. team he's always there always there always there so he took like interest in me you know what i'm saying so i started chatting it up with him got his number whatever and he was a cool ass dude humble guy you know what i'm saying and through like that's the kind of connections you know that i was trying to get without no, even yeah. like trying to get it you know yeah, what i mean but yeah. it was just like like dude it was it was that's what i wanted to go for you know what i mean and then i met another pro another pro another pro and you get all the you meet all these so people. this first time that you, this time that you're talking about going you didn't y'all didn't go for a festival or nothing you just went to basically <laughs> fucking throw your fucking hat out there and try to maybe see if you can fucking find someone yeah. if we link with somebody <laughs> cool if not fuck it we came to cali and had fun well we went to go to uh we went to universal studios already Hollywood. already for sure yeah. Yeah. we had the whole the whole week planned out but i was still trying to like i don't know scope it out for the skating scene i still went to skating spots but i didn't really skate you know already. I mean? we were there to do other things besides you were trying to slide in yeah skating yeah and still, still trying to like we went to the, we ended up going getting to go uh came on the jimmy kimmel show you know what i'm saying shit like that and then like the hollywood high school is down the street from there and i walked over there scoped out see if any pros were there or whatever it's a famous spot hollywood high school yeah. they have a Mural of Selena painted on the on the front of it. Damn. Not just Selena, but other people. But her, she's on there. It's crazy. But yeah, then uh, next time around was like for my birthday or whatever. We oh, we were going to uh, Heart Summerfest in uh, near Rancho Cucamonga. That's what it was. Oh, That's really? that that time yeah. we, were, we went to Universal Studio, or whatever. But uh, we go back. And then that's when I start to go for all the skating spots. You know, I look, I go to start looking up. Okay, the court, no, uh, the West House, West Side Courthouse is a famous spot. The Stoner Skate Park right there, Lafayette. You know, I start hitting all these, all these spots. So are you just on social media, just trying to figure yeah. out the hot spots already? Yeah. Well, I, I've, from skating videos, you see them. You oh, know what I'm saying? Okay, you see okay. the spots. Oh, bad, bad. You okay, see them on bad. TV hell or yeah, on yeah, videos yeah, or whatever. Yeah, hell yeah. You start looking up these famous spots. And it's crazy because pause right quick. It's almost like you say, like with the skateboarding culture, you see the skateboarding spots and the shit in the videos, and you want to go try to find those spots. It's almost like, like I say, listening to screw tapes, listening to DJ screw tapes, and you hear them talk about flipping down Cullen. You know what I'm saying? I want to go ride down Cullen. You hear them talk about I'm sipping fucking, I'm sipping a fold down fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ride down oh, such and such street. So you yeah. want to go sip some drink and yeah. ride down such and such street? That's crazy yeah. how culture influences people even in in different fucking cultures type shit that's crazy yeah.